The Genesis G70 luxury sport sedan has been on Canadian roads since 2017 when it launched for the following model year as the Genesis brand started ramping up its presence in the Canadian market. The G70 was designed to give shoppers an alternative to entry luxury staples from competitor automakers like Audi, Mercedes, Acura, Volvo and BMW. In this video, it's my best tips and advice for used Genesis G70 shoppers, and I hope these tips and considerations help you find the best used Genesis G70 that you can for your dollar. With a strong value proposition and loads of featured content for the money, the G70 made a compelling choice for shoppers where performance and content was concerned. On board, a unique selection of colors and textures worked to help drive up a sense of quality and craftsmanship. Quilted leather, climate-controlled seating, a Lexicon stereo system, and steerable LED headlights were all on board, so enthusiast drivers after something powerful and luxurious that won't break the bank may want to steer their attention in this direction. Look for both 4- and 6-cylinder power like many competitors. Standard was a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder with 252 horsepower, available with a 6-speed manual and rear-drive sport configuration in earlier years. Other models run a 3.3-liter V6, twin-turbocharged for 365 horsepower. Most used G70 models will include all-wheel drive and an automatic transmission with either engine choice. Buying a Genesis G70 includes various perks, including concierge servicing, at-home delivery to the vehicle's initial customer, free software and map updates, courtesy vehicle coverage, and more. You can find more information on the Genesis G70's warranty on the Genesis website. Warranty coverage varies depending on the component or part in question and does not cover damage or wear caused by a failure to have the vehicle maintained properly. Remember that a warranty is a two-way agreement and owners are advised to familiarize themselves with their role in maintaining that warranty in good standing. Some owners have reported trouble from the G70's auto start-stop system which turns the engine off to prevent idling in certain situations. Many have not. Most new vehicles use this technology and in rarely reported cases of trouble, the culprit is often the vehicle's battery, whether weak or dying, or improperly connected. For this reason, ensuring the battery in the used G70 you're considering is healthy can help fend off trouble. Still, a handful of owners report auto start-stop problems that were ultimately diagnosed by dealers and remedied by a warranty replacement of the G70's engine starter. If the system is acting up on your test drive, you may see an error or warning message on your instrument cluster, or experience a failure to restart the engine when the vehicle's brake pedal is released. Look for these trouble signs on your test drive to save time, money, and headaches. Most owners have not complained of the durability of certain finishes and surfaces on their vehicles, though some have, and test driving shoppers are advised to pay close attention to two particular areas. First, carefully check the front seating surfaces for signs of damage, wear, or abrasion, with the outboard seat bolster being a prime suspect for premature wear. Look for rips, tears, discoloration, or holes, calling any that you find into your pricing negotiations. Next, follow the G70's body panel gaps and look for signs of chipping or damaged paint, poorly repaired paint damage, or even the formation of rust. Though most owners don't complain of poor paint durability, some have noted finishes that are easily scratched or peeled, which can invite rust or other damage. Rough or clumsy automatic transmission performance is not uncommon across a wide range of modern vehicles. Usually, when an automatic transmission behaves unfavorably, the fixes include a software update or fluid change, and mechanical problems with transmission internals are reported much less frequently. Some G70 owners have reported rough shifting from their automatics, specifically in the form of a lurching or leaping sensation as the vehicle slows to a stop, or gear shifts that feel harsh instead of smooth and seamless. If you notice any of this on your test drive, have the vehicle seen by a professional before you buy. Some owners say that these symptoms are an indicator of a failed or failing component called a transmission cooler, which can negatively affect the operating temperature of the gearbox. Be on the lookout and be sure to test the G70's transmission at light, moderate, and full throttle several times during your test drive. A small number of owners have reported an oil leak from the rear main seal of their G70's engine. This easily detectable leak is covered by powertrain warranty, and owners say it affects both 2.0-liter and 3.3-liter engines. 
A rear main seal leak can be detected easily during a pre-purchase inspection, or PPI, and it may also cause a visible oil puddle beneath the vehicle. Some owners have also reported oil pan gasket leaks which can cause a similar leak in the same area. This leak has also been reported by some owners of the Kia Stinger, which uses the same engines as the Genesis G70. Being on the lookout for oil and fluid leaks can save you time and money. Some G70 owners have installed aftermarket parts to drive up power output, performance, and sound from their G70. Others have not. Some owners even target performance builds that would increase output to 500 horsepower with the extensive use of modified parts. Millions of enthusiast drivers enjoy modified vehicles on the daily around the world with no issue, but in the context of a new, in-warranty car like the G70, the use of non-factory parts or software can cause failures, damage, and other trouble that's not covered by warranty. So if the G70 that you are considering is heavily modified, assume that its remaining warranty coverage is void until you have proof to the contrary. The average shopper is best to stick to a stock unit where possible for maximum peace of mind. This selection of tips and information was designed to help in-market shoppers find a first-class copy of a second-hand Genesis G70. Bearing the information that I just gave you in mind as you test drive and shop for a used G70 can help you find the best used unit possible for your dollar. Hit that like button down below if you learned something new. My name's Justin Pritchard, and until next time, take care and drive safe.